Hi everybody, let's look at what it takes to reproject a shape file in Manifold Release 9 or Manifold Viewer. Uh, the two are equivalent. Everything that we're doing here will work in a Viewer as well as 9. Viewer is just like 9, it's just that it's uh, read-only. Uh, reprojecting is, has always been easy in 9 and it's become easier than ever given the new uh, uh, dialogs. What we're going to do is we're going to import a shape file called Idaho. It's going to show the uh, state of Idaho. Double click that drawing open and there's Idaho. To uh, see what it uh, uh, what uh, coordinate system it uses, we click open the component uh, panel for the con in the contents pane. There's a lot of different pa panels here, but we're going to use the component panel. And as you can see, it says uh, latitude, longitude. So if we want to change that to say uh, pseudo Mercator, click change coordinate system, and here in the picker button for new, we'll choose uh, that's one of the uh, default favorites. We'll just choose a uh, pseudo Mercator, click update component. Uh, and we're done. We can uh, control click on that tab to uh, zoom to fit and you can see that uh, Idaho now has lost that kind of a uh, uh, overly uh, horizontal uh, shifted uh, spread out uh, look that it gets when you when you do latitude and longitude at these latitudes. If we want to uh, change the coordinate system to uh, something else, reproject to some other coordinate system, not one of the defaults, which is latitude and longitude are one of our favorites, we'll click edit coordinate system and uh, let's choose uh, custom and what we're going to do is we're going to choose orthographic. We'll call this uh, Idaho, Idaho Ortho, and it's going to be uh, the base type is going to be orthographic uh, coordinate system, and we need to give it a uh, a center. And what we'll do is we can see here by uh, moving the cursor over Idaho that uh, Idaho is roughly at about a center latitude of about 45 degrees and a center longitude of uh, minus 114. So that's going to be the center for our orthographic projection. Click OK, click Update Component, and we're done. We're going to, again, zoom in. And you can see that now has a, that has a typically uh, uh, slightly rounded view that the uh, azimuthal projections have at these, at these latitudes. Uh, to uh, do something more interesting than uh, just, oh, and, and let's one last thing. Let's, let's go back to uh, latitude and longitude. Because it's one of the uh, defaults, we can just click it and bang, we're done. So now we're back to latitude and longitude. Uh, what's cool about Manifold, though, is that uh, we can do way more than just uh, display a uh, drawing in its own uh, drawing window. The drawing window always uses the uh, projection that the uh, the drawing itself does. We can show it in a map, and the map will uh, reproject on the fly. Let's create a new map, and uh, let's also create a uh, new data source. We'll create a, a Bing uh, Street Maps uh, data source. And so we'll open the map, and we'll drag and drop Bing into that... Uh, into that map. The way map windows work is that a map window, I'll alt click the tab here to undock it, a uh, map window takes as its projection whatever is the first uh, layer that's dragged and dropped into it. So if you look at the contents pane, we see that a map is a uh, pseudo Mercator because uh, the Bing uh, uh, image server, like uh, virtually all of uh, uh, web servers these days, uh, uses a pseudo Mercator projection. And if we take something like our Idaho drawing, which uh, Here's Idaho. And, uh, you know, I find this uh, so unpleasant that Idaho's uh, that great. Let's, let's, let's take a moment to uh, change the style to make that a, um, let's use that color. Or maybe not, let's use this one. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, uh, so now we're going to use uh, Idaho be in, in that color. Uh, let's take uh, Idaho and uh, drag it and drop it into the uh, map. And uh, if we compare the two, we can see that here, I'm going to resize this a bit so we can see both at the same time more conveniently. Uh, here we can see that Idaho is, uh, has that uh, classic uh, you know, spread out and horizontally look of uh, latitude and longitude. But here, as we can see, it's, uh, it's seen in the same pseudo Mercator projection as uh, the uh, map that the map uses. What's going on is that Manifold is automatically taking this layer here, and here it's reporting you know, with the context of the map. It's reporting that the map is in um, Pseudo Mercator, uh, and uh, Bing is in Pseudo Mercator also, and Idaho is the active letter, but it is in latitude and longitude. But what the map is doing is the map is automatically reprojecting uh, Idaho into uh, this uh, Pseudo Mercator projection. Now, if we like, we can alter the projection that's used by the map, uh, and we can do that by clicking the coordinate picker right here. So, for example, suppose we want the map to also use latitude and longitude. We click on that, and instantly the, uh, uh, let's uh, zoom to fit, instantly the map changes so that the map now uses uh, pseudo Mercator, uh, map, excuse me, the map now uses latitude and longitude projection. So it's showing uh, 
uh, Idaho in its native latitude and longitude projection. But what it's doing is it's taking the Bing Street Maps uh, uh, image server layer, and Bing is in Pseudo Mercator. What it's doing is it's transla it's automatically reprojecting on the fly the image tiles that are coming in from the uh, Bing layer, and it's reprojecting them into a latitude and longitude. That's why the uh, Bing letters are kind of spread out here. You can see there's a, there's that kind of stretching effect that you get with uh, latitude and longitude. Uh, because uh, the, the Bing uh, tiles are calibrated for uh, display in uh, Pseudo Mercator. Uh, that's what all the text is, is done. So it's kind of a unique thing that Manifold can actually take image layers from Google and other uh, web servers, uh, thousands of them, and reproject them on the fly, on the fly into whatever projection you're using. Uh, let's use uh, the uh, orthographic projection that we uh, uh, chose earlier. And uh, as you can see, we have this, this immense array of stuff that we can uh, choose. Uh, there's all these zillions and zillions of, uh, of standard projections. There's all the EPS, EPSG projections, thousands of them, uh, including all the deprecated ones. Uh, and uh, we can define custom projections. Again, let's call this uh, Idaho Ortho. And we'll base that again on orthographic. And center latitude is, is going to be 45 degrees. Center longitude is going to be uh, minus 114. Click OK. As you can see, we're now looking at Idaho as if we were viewing it from space. Idaho and everything else, Idaho is still in latitude and longitude. Bing Street Maps is still in Pseudo Mercator. But the map itself is uh, now in this Idaho ortho projection that we defined. If we use that ortho projection a lot, we can save it as one of our favorites. Uh, and here it is right there. We can just click Add to Favorites. And now if we ever want to apply that to uh, some other uh, window we can uh, pick it off our favorites. So for example, here's the here's Idaho in latitude and longitude. Suppose we want to change that from latitude and longitude to our uh, f new favorite. Uh, we click on the coordinate picker and there you can see the Idaho ortho is now one of our favorites. So we can click on that, update component, and now Idaho here is uh, using the Idaho orthographic projection that we defined. Uh, it still looks the same in the map because the map itself is also an Idaho orthographic projection and it still re reprojects whatever layer is in there from whatever original projection it may have used into Idaho orthographic. Uh, and uh, we can change the, ma the map, by the way. So uh, uh, let's do something uh, more interesting here. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's change this to... Uh, hmm. Let's change it to... Uh, uh, Lambert Confarmal Conic, which is a pretty uh, <laughs> dramatic change to make. Uh, and uh, we're going to call it uh, LCC US. And we're going to base that on uh, Lambert Confarmal Conic. Where is that, baby? Here it is, right there. And uh, we're going to change the center latitude to something that's kind of close to the center of the United States. So let's call it uh, roughly. Uh, Oh, minus 100. And the center latitude, we're going to make 40. And the first standard latitude, we're going to make, uh, well, let's make a 32. And let's make the second standard latitude somewhere around, uh, oh, heck, let's make it 48. Those are pretty good settings to use if you want to do a conformal conic projection that covers the uh, United States, the uh, continental United States, so-called. And as you can see, uh, when we first uh, show that, it, it induces a really weird projection thing because uh, because we're, the whole world does not fit into Lander, Lambert conformal conic qu quite right. So we can control click on Idaho to zoom in on that, and uh, let's uh, let's dock this display, dock that too to get out of the way. And now we can see how uh, manifold in this map the map uses Lambert conformal conic. It is reprojecting everything in the map into that projection. So with the United States, this is the classic uh, schoolbook projection that you see uh, where uh, maps of the uh, lower 48 states of the United States are often shown in uh, schoolbook atlases where you have this bowed look to it. And uh, it's reprojecting Bing Street maps into uh, Lambert Confarmal Conic, even though Bing Street maps is in Pseudo Mercator. That's a lot of tiles, a lot of pixels to reproject, but Manifold is doing it on the fly. And you can see it's doing it on the fly fast enough that we can uh, quite easily pan and zoom. At the same time, it's also reprojecting uh, Idaho into that uh, same projection as well. Uh, so you can see that, that that's appearing in that bowed location, even though Idaho itself is still in uh, the orthographic projection that we uh, reprojected it into. 
anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. As you can see, it's extremely easy to create different maps. Hey, you know what? You know what? Before before we dial out of this, let's do one last thing here. Let's sh let's uh, let's show how we can uh, copy the map and paste it. Map two. And now for this map two, what we're going to do is we're going to reproject this, and we're going to use uh, map two. We're going to reproject into uh, Pseudo Mercator. Zoom into Idaho. And now what you can see is what we've done is we've created two maps, one called Map 1 the other one called Map 2. Uh, let's get rid of Idaho and let's undock Map, the original called Map. What we've done is we've used the same contents and we've, uh, we're now showing them in uh, two maps at the same time. The two maps use different projection. This map uses uh, this, the Lambert conformal conic that we defined. This map here uses uh, Idaho. Use, uses, excuse me, the pseudo Mercator projection. And uh, we can do this all day long. For example, we can copy that and paste it. And now there's map three. Let's open map three. Map three was, is based on map two, so it uses the same projection as map two. Let's control click into there. Let's now uh, change map three so that map three uses uh, not pseudo Mercator, but let's say, uh, let's make it use latitude and longitude. And control click on the Idaho later to zoom into that, and you can see we now have the same data simultaneously being displayed in three different maps. Uh, here, the map uses uh, Lambert conformal conic for the entire of the United States, and it's reprojecting Bing Street maps and Idaho both into that projection. Here, uh, this map uses uh, Pseudo Mercator, which is the native uh, layer, uh, native projection used for Bing Street maps, so that is not reprojected. Idaho is reprojected. And here, uh, this map, map three, uses uh, latitude and longitude, and that's reprojecting Bing Street maps into latitude and longitude, and also reprojecting Idaho into latitude and longitude. There. Now I can say goodbye, and I hope you've been enjoyed this uh, video. I hope you find it very useful. As you can see, the easiest way to show data in various different projections is to just use a map and to uh, change the projection on the map. But if you want to actually reproject the data in a particular drawing, as you can see, uh, as we did, and we did that with Idaho, you can uh, just uh, reproject that instantaneously and have that uh, drawing use the new projection. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and goodbye from uh, Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.